I'm sorry, Pasta Recoverer. You asked me a question and I didn't answer it. I got carried away. Uh, so yeah, let's change the subject. She, uh, Pasta Recoverer says, sorry for repeating myself, but what's a cool chem experiment I can do with household reagents? Okay, so um, here's, what, here's one thing you can do. It's maybe not necessarily chemistry. Maybe it's sort of more physics, but I think it's, or it's like fluid dynamics. It's really cool. So what you do is you take some cornstarch and you put it in a bowl, okay? And you start adding a little bit of water to it at a time, just a little bit of water, mix it around, a little bit of water, mix it around, a little bit of water, mix it around. <clears throat> and if you're feeling festive, you can throw in your favorite food coloring. And this concoction is called oobleck, and it's a non-Newtonian fluid, meaning it's a liquid, and then as soon as you apply a force to it, it becomes a solid, it hardens up. And there's actually an episode of Mythbusters where, <laughs> where Adam Savage uh, walked across a giant tub of oobleck. Um, so again, cornstarch, water, get it to the desired consistency by adding water slowly in, in small portions to your cornstarch, mix it around, uh, and eventually, eventually you'll get like a liquid that you can cut with a knife or uh, a liquid that you can roll into a ball. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. So that's one example. Um, trying to think of other sort of household things. Ah, here's another one. If you take red cabbage, okay? If you take some red cabbage from your local grocery store, chop it up, put it in a pot of water, boil it for 10, 15 minutes, and then filter out the cabbage and let the liquid cool down, eventually you will, you will end up with a liquid that is an acid base indicator that will change colors based on the acidity or alkalinity of the environment into which that indicator is. So for instance, if you have this red cabbage juice, as it's called, and you uh, pour some ammonia in it or some lye or something that's fairly basic, uh, it will turn like a yellow green color. Um, but if you put something like acidic, like lemon juice or something like that in it, it'll turn more to like a, like a reddish pink color. And then blue is sort of kind of like the neutral color. Um, in fact, this is, this is something that I've never talked about on my channel before. Um, and I know other people are asking me questions. I want to answer them, but let me just go off on this tangent briefly. So my wife and I, we got married in 2015 and she was in charge of everything. The one thing that I was in charge of was the unity ceremony. And you know how like a unity ceremony, some people will, you know, light candles. Some people will mix sand together to, to symbolize their unity. What we did was a chemical reaction involving, ba -ba -ba, you guessed it, red cabbage juice. So what we did, right, was we had this really tall one liter graduated cylinder and it had a little tiny bit of lye of sodium hydroxide in the bottom and we each had a beaker of this blue it's called red cabbage juice but it actually looks blue it slowly turns red over time right so we each had this blue this big uh, beaker of blue indicator solution and we both poured it in there and as we both poured the blue stuff into the big graduated cylinder it turned greenish yellow because it was in the presence of a base of sodium hydroxide so we had this blue stuff, we poured it into the graduated cylinder, it turns green, okay? Then what we did was we had some dry ice and I took a hammer and I <laughs> pounded some of the dry ice to get, to get pieces that were small enough for my wife and I to both pick up. And we also had a pair of gloves. I put on one glove, she put on the other glove. And we both started dropping chunks of dry ice into the cabbage juice mixture. So what happens is dry ice, as you know, as you probably know, is solid carbon dioxide, CO2. And when you mix it with water, or, you know, in this case, cabbage juice, right, which is mostly water, you get a reaction that releases carbonic acid, okay, H2CO3. And as that carbonic acid is released, as more and more of that carbonic acid is released, the pH of the solution changes from basic to acidic. It, it slowly becomes less alkaline and more acidic. And that takes the indicator through a range of colors. So the indicator, it's like bubbling. You know, you see the smoke or the, the fog, you know, from the, from the dry ice being given off. And, you know, it starts out like this yellowish green and then it turns, you know, sort of like an aqua color and then a blue color and then like a red color and then a pink color. And the symbolism was that you know we come together and then you know we sort of experiences all experience all these uh, stages of life together as 
a married couple. And uh, there were quite a few people who attended that wedding, and most of them said that was the coolest unity ceremony I have ever seen. <laughs> so maybe I'll publish some photos of it on like Facebook or, or Twitter or something like that, maybe Instagram. Um, because yeah, we, we had a totally geeked out wedding. There was a lot of sciencey stuff there. Our wedding cake had like benzene rings and, uh, DNA double helices on it because my wife was, a, was in forensic science. So we had like a chemistry slash forensic science themed wedding. And, um, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool.